just embrace your evil. And I don't mean that in the sense of embrace being evil to people. It's, it's, it's the, it's the opposite, I guess. It's embracing that you're imperfect and that you've done evil things and nefarious things and you've at, you've asked for forgiveness and yet you have to keep going and accept that there's so much, there's so much evil here and there's stuff like being brainwashed by like your peers and like having your emotional, like being emotionally neglected enough times that then when you, when you're in a space where like you go back, you go back to those same people hoping that, you know, that they're going to be able to be there for you. And it's still, and like, so you, <laughs> like if you, if you've experienced something like that, like I have, it's like, then you're like, okay, like you, you, it's, it's circumstantial because it's like, I think about that with my life and I'm like, I'm still like a single parent. I still have to figure this out. I still have a kid who has like some behavioral problems. And, um, so you're just like, you just take all of that, like passion, all of that hurt. And you're like, all right, I'm going to use this as fuel. And like, I may, I kind of joked about the pictures in the castle because it's like, I don't imagine, I don't necessarily imagine being in a castle, but it does pull you to that place of like, yeah. Um, hell F yeah. Like I went through all this, I'm showing up doing selfless service and, um, trying to be the best person I can be still having to show up for my kid and without support, like, yeah, we deserve a good life now. It like, it pulls you to that place of like, cause at one, I did just kind of like, and I go back and forth cause I'm like, you know, I embrace the simplicity and all these things, but I'm like, no, I want a soul tribe. Like, I want and feel supported by people. I don't want to, it, cause it's so, it's so exhaustive. It's like, it's, there's always that drain when you don't have any support or any security, but you have to, so, so use your darkness, use your, like I said, I'm not saying be evil to people because like when my kid lashes out at me, if I, if I react back to him, then, then that's on me. You know, like if I just hold that space, then it's like, it helps to alchemize it, but use your like accepting your, um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get an example. <laughs> my kid is stealing food. <laughs> Um, okay. Accepting that you are the villain to some people, accepting that you're the villain in some people's stories because you were, you turned your back on them because you finally put your foot down and said, okay, enough's enough. So now you're the villain in that story. And, um, you know, accepting that and like playing off of it because it, it truly like helps you to keep going and that, and like it, it becomes this comedy because it's like, I, you already treated me like I was, that. you already did, you already didn't appreciate me, you know, like you, you know, it's not, cause to me, it's not appreciating someone if you're nice to their face, but you're not nice when they're not around or you're not, you're only nice to them when they fit the mold that you, you created for them. Like that's not, that's not truly loving and appreciating someone. Um, So just like finding little ways to, <laughs> to be the villain and accept it because that's like that, it like helps you laugh because you have to keep going and you still have to do with, do whatever you have to do without support in your life. And so in a lack of resources. And so it, it really all comes together of like you, you hold, cause it's hard to even hold a vision. Like that's another thing that's like it's, it's very hard because life keeps changing. And so, um, you have to have immense amounts of faith. So that's just what's coming to me right now because it will bring a playful side out of you. And I think that 
I don't know why that's really coming to me right now of like, I feel like in general and as a whole, like for the, for the world, like being able to do that and be that for each other, even when, even if you can't show up physically in someone's life or, um, you know, you're not there, you, you can't be there for them, you know, that like we can bring that to each other and bring that play and, um, laugh about the insanity of all of this. So just the, take that if it resonates. Um, all right.